Hello everyone, Rob here. In today's video, I want to talk to you about how you can literally 10x your productivity just by doing a few simple steps. Now, the reason for me making this video is someone reached out to me the other day and they were like, Rob, you seem to do a lot of things. How do you actually keep on top of them? How are you actually like managing to bam, 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 bam? Because if you think about it, I'm producing content all the time, I'm prospecting, I'm dealing with client queries, I'm also handling sales calls. I've also got, you know, know a lot in like looking at investments and things like this i'm constantly learning as well it's not to brag or anything but i'm just letting you know i do an awful lot and an awful lot of high impact things and what it really comes down to is a few simple principles about like how i managed to get so much done i want to talk through something for you just so you can understand it as well basically these are the only principles that you need to know is any bad habits i have I increase the friction to doing them. Any good habits I have, I reduce the friction in doing them. Okay, so there's this principle in chemistry and it's called activation energy. And here's a quote of it right here. It says the minimum amount of energy that is required to activate atoms or molecules to a, to, to a condition in which they undergo chemical transformation or physical transport. And this is an actual definition pinched from here. And basically what it means is like, what's the minimum amount of work that's required to actually start doing something? So essentially any good habit I have, any action I need to take on a daily basis, I make sure the amount of friction between me actually starting that task is reduced to as close to zero as possible. And if there's things which are distracting me from my goal, I increase the friction. So this is so important. It's such a simple concept, but no one ever does it so for instance one of the best ways to diet and to you know if you're dieting or if you're losing weight is to make sure that the bad food actually isn't in your house at all the roman says prevention is better than cure and that is exactly what you do with bad habits you prevent them rather than cure them once you've already got them because then it becomes a whole different ball game right so what does this look like practically this camera that I'm filming on right now, I used to actually film with this here because it's a good quality camera. It's um, a pixel camera, right? But the problem is there was a lot of friction with this, okay? So I used to set the camera up when I was ready to make content. I used to set the camera up, make sure it was all right. It doesn't have like a mirror on it. So I literally had to like use, um, I used to like have to record a little bit, then unplug it, check the sound. Then I'd have to like, like make sure my face is like in the screen as well. It'd take me a few attempts to set it up. And then once it's recorded something, I'd have to wait until it uploads to the cloud. And then I'd have to download it from the cloud onto like a PC. Um, my laptop was very slow as well back then. I've just got myself a new one. Um, but basically what would happen is then I would have to edit it and export it because the laptop was very slow. It would take me ages just to do one video. So there was a lot of friction between producing video content and not producing content and every single time i had to produce video content i used to think to myself oh no here we go again like here we go again i used to dread it and i am a disciplined person i'm not going to say that i'm not a disciplined person i am a very disciplined person but even for me i was like damn this is a lot of friggin friction right so how I reduce the friction is obviously I've worked hard to get money underneath me and then I've used that money to basically buy a much better laptop, which is super fast. I have then ran a cable from a laptop onto a camera directly to the laptop. So I can literally go to my laptop, press start recording. It starts recording me. And as soon as I press stop recording, the wire just goes straight to the laptop. So the video is instantly on the laptop. It takes out that whole process of going up to, you know, loading up to the cloud and then, or getting the file somehow onto your computer, which is a pain. And then I put it straight in video editing software. I quickly edit it. My computer is now a frigging beast and I've used the money, which I've worked hard for to buy like a top of the range laptop, which basically like processes video straight away. And then I can just easily fire out like literally five, six videos in a day. I like 
video anyway so it's not massively it's not like i have to force myself to actually you know perform on video i like talking right so there's no friction there there's no friction there the friction has been reduced to a minimal and now i can just like produce content very very quickly just by literally touching like two switches and turning them on right because it's easy for me to get started so if you think like if you make a list of the actual tasks you need to do or whether you know the business related tasks or something else as well consider the ones which you actually struggle with right like actually sit and think like do i struggle with doing this task is it difficult for me is it difficult for me to stay consistent and then question like why is it difficult to stay consistent and usually the reason is is there's a whole bunch of friction that you have in place which stops you from actually being productive there and um, then work out how you can reduce those those bits of friction. So another good example is I'm a very fit, active person. It's very, very easy for me to go to the gym, but it's mainly easy because I have like a daily routine, right? So routines carry some of the weight, but for me to go to the gym, I go every single day in the morning, pretty much as soon as I wake up. As soon as I wake up, my routine is get changed into the clothes I've already laid out the night before, okay? Zero friction, right? I can then go to the gym, I already have my bag packed if I'm getting showered at the gym. It's already like pretty much packed. I get straight in the car, go to the gym, have a shower there, and then come back. I'm ready to start the day. I've reduced the friction. Now I meal prep. We cook, me and my girlfriend, we cook like twice a week. Once on the Sunday night, once on the Wednesday night as well. And essentially we make meals for ourselves, healthy meals for like the lunches and dinners the next day. And it cuts the friction out of logging my calories every day because I'm, you know, I'm into fitness. So I need to log my calories as well. Also, it takes the friction out of having to eat healthy every night. The food's already done and it's prepared. You see very little friction in eating healthily. There's all these little hacks. And if you ever look at like, there's a task, I know I need to do it, right? What is a way that you can reduce the friction of it and get it to a point where you can literally click on two buttons or, you know, just get your clothes on or just go in, heat your food up and there's no friction in it and like, boom, you are ready to go. And that is exactly how I stay super productive and how I manage to get a lot of things done while other people don't get as much done as me. I'm literally looking for multipliers of what I can do with my time. So like this laptop was, you know, super expensive. The camera was super expensive, but you know, I have taxes, which I can reduce by buying these bits of equipment. So it's kind of like a win-win in a way. It's literally sped the amount of time that I've got on my hands available now to do other tasks and I think to myself like why didn't I do this before like the money I've spent is easily returned to me by just making my life a little bit simpler either for pleasure purposes but also for productivity purposes as well because I value my time at like quite a lot per hour and just making a small change like that is boom problem solved and this also works the opposite way as well so if you've got like bad habits so for instance i have an xbox in my living room and it's always a distraction as well you know if friends come around we'll play it together if i'm just chilling out on my own i'll have like some time to play it as well what i do is i increase the friction to using that object i unplug the wires okay only a little bit just increase the friction just a little Little bit so that I can't just go in there touch one button and it's all on ready to go the same thing goes for my phone as well while I'm working I have my phone on flight mode in a different room and the reason why is then I have to get up to check it I've actually logged the amount of times on this phone right here it's a pixel 5 like it's got an app which logs how many times you unlock your phone and spend on your phone right and if I keep my phone next to me whilst I'm working the amount of time I will spend on my phone and the amount of times I've unlocked my phone, which takes away from the amount of work I do in a day, like it literally hits it, hits the amount of work that I can do a lot, right? It's just not worth it having it next to me. I have to increase the friction and get that phone in the other room, okay? So that's exactly how you do it, guys. Reduce the friction in things you need to do. Increase the friction in things that you shouldn't do. So I hope this video helps. Hope this helps some of you out there. Hope you can multiply your time a little bit and get more stuff done. 
and uh, have a great one. See you in the next video. Take care.